Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Alumni Talk Season 2. The, the, last. the last Alumni Talk in this year. Right? So, um, today our guest lecturer is Hu Hanat. Uh, our, our guest uh, lecturer is uh, Ajahn Tima Muktong, which is our Ajahn in Communication Design Department and uh, also the owner of Try a week <laughs> coffee shop. Okay, to today what what he got in the lecture is about uh, the about his work and uh, and uh, he will inspire us who come here. Okay, so part 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 two. Welcome, Ajahn Chima. Okay, hi. So um, today, actually, like I'm not gonna, not gonna talk much about my work, but I'll guide you through two things. For first, is to share the experience at this school because I'm all, as you know, I'm an alumni representing the grad programs. So, but I also graduate BFA from here. So, um, besides sharing, I'll. Hope this presentation will encourage you in some other aspect as well. So, uh, my name is Tima Muktong. Okay, so others call me Min. Uh, I began my years here in year 2005 as SOAD. So that's 10 years back, I think, around that. So, um, well, The things that I think that is really important during the BFA study is the self-discovery. Uh, during the first three years at school, so I try to ask myself all the time and also like asked by other instructor back then that what do I like to do and what do I enjoy to do besides studying? So, um, this, there were two things that I particularly enjoy doing is to take photos and to play Thai music, of course. But then that too didn't raise up the questions, which is really a major change in my life. So I did ask myself that what I'm going to do in the future. So while I was seeking for answer, I was there, I was third year student back then. I enrolled in the exchange program, which is good thing from our school that we could enroll the exchange program instead of doing internship. So I end up in Bremen, Germany, in the middle of nowhere, a horse farm kind of scenario in the beginning. But I, I didn't have to stay there for the whole time, just for a short moment before I move. Um, I enjoy the time in Bremen a lot. It's not so long, a semester. So I did visit some historical kind of places and of course, museum and some event. But uh, the most important things that I earned from being an exchange student back then is to study in Hochschule für Kunste, it means University of Art in Bremen. What's really fascinated me is their education. Bremen wasn't a good, a big city at all compared to Berlin or Munich. Bremen is quite a small, remote kind of city in the north, west, yeah. So in the Hochschule, I kind of see that the school there quite ready for their students in many aspects, such as facilities, instructor, environment, 
So, by study there, it gave me a certain answer for my future. So, I kind of know that I want to continue in the academic career path as a university instructor. So, I get myself back to Bangkok to school and try to finish my BFA as fast as possible because in order to uh, continue with my future plan as an instructor is to earn an MFA or master degree. So this is the point when I think that MFA is quite necessary due to the regulations and requirements. But um, beside that, I think MFA is another chance for young students or other students that want to continue their education in the higher level. So what did I do during the master is that I spent three years and a half. It's kind of long time to finish the master. Actually, you should finish by two years, but I spent three years um, according to the enjoyment of doing the project. So what did I do back then is that I conduct um, some sort of practical research in one particular area, the area called Samyan. So during that time, Samyan was under urbanization. So there were many changes occurred during that period. So I combined kind of two approach to conduct and finish my project. First is a documentary photography. Second thing is anthropologist approach by study the living of people in the community. So that pretty much about how I started my academic career path. So since you listen to all those short presentation and brief background of what I have done. So you might notice that I kind of have strong kind of directions in order to do the master. But then for you guys, it might be another aspect to consider before you continue your master degree. Okay, let me finish this slide first. So these are images from the some images from the project. So what's good? One good another good things in master degree is that you will find yourself sitting among others, people who didn't have the design background. Uh, my classmate, they were financial consultant, um, engineer food scientists who have particular interest in visual communication, so they enroll the master program. So this is another good point of doing the master is that you will find yourself a plenty of connection and opportunity to connect. So besides studying during the master program, you will have a chance to continue with your practice, I mean, in work. Means that you could have a, a side job or can conduct a project to make some money because it's quite dependent when you're doing a master. When I, do, when I did my master, <laughs> because I have to take care of my financial myself. So um, sometimes I get a chance to help others to conduct their brand uh, to shoot photo for their advertising in the brand. This, they sell bags, I think. <laughs> so, um, and other product as well. So you might apply a bit of your visual communication study in order to accomplish in some certain kind of visual material as a photograph. As I mentioned before that I enjoy doing photography. So, um, 
For example, in this project, I kind of document one company portfolio. They produce signage. So I worked both interior and exterior for hotel, for exhibitions, kind of scenes to basically collect the photos for the customer usage. Or maybe sometime at some fancy event. This is a countdown at Central Embassy. So um, beside commercial product, I also volunteer myself to help uh, a nonprofit organization who dealing with Thai cultural kind of issues. So this in institute called Kukrit Institution, they provide free courses for kids who are interested in Korn in particular. So I help them document the photos from the practice day until the preparation day until the stage. So basically, to sum up what I've talked a bit is that the master degree is kind of, that's the reason why I, I think it's quite important for you to consider before continue your study is that you got to have like some kind of strong goal and the readiness of yourself. Because there is not gonna be much of time for instructor to babysitting the students. So there will be available schedule for you for consultation and presentation only. So besides taking photos and involved with other activities, I also conduct and participate with some alum other alumni group to produce uh, a moving images. So in this video is um, kind of a brief reel, show reel. I don't know whether it's called show reel or not because it's so short. So yeah, just let's take time and watch it. So that pretty much about my presentation. 
about their journey, how I end up here as an instructor and how I kind of dealing with my life. But uh, the part that I said that I want to encourage you guys is that um, besides studying in school, there are some other things outside the school as well, which is I kind of feel that these days students tend not to go out, not to go out anymore to do some other stuff. I don't really know what the reason is, but what I want to leave it here is that I try to encourage you guys to at least go out and be part of something. It doesn't matter if you can make money out of it or not, but in order to learn from the experience, so-called ephemeral knowledge, is that you have to be there and do it by yourself. Okay, thank you.